Hello and welcome to this video on working out the centre of mass. This is the first video in the second topic of your P3. So I have my assistant primrose here. I have some shapes which we're going to work out the centre of mass of. I've got two holes in these shapes. I've got my pivot and I've got my plumb line which has a weight on the bottom. So all you need to do is have your shape and your plumb line. You need to make sure your shape can flow swing freely and then you just need to draw a line down where the plumb line is. You can then move to your second pivot. Make sure it can swing freely again. And draw a line down once Primrose has stopped being helpful. And there is our centre of mass for our first shape. This is our second shape. You can see again I've got two holes in there. I'm going to pop my pen through the pivot so it can swing freely. Primrose has now eaten the weights off the bottom of my plumb line. And again, this could swing freely, and when they come to a stop, I'm just going to draw a line straight down there. So swap over to the second pivot. Make sure they can both swing freely and draw a line straight down. And that is the centre of mass for my second shape. Now these two shapes are irregular, which is slightly tougher to find the centre of mass for. Here I have a symmetrical shape, and you can see I folded it along the lines of symmetry, and I found the centre point. For symmetrical shapes, the centre of mass should always be in the middle. So, if I let these swing freely, and come to a rest, get it up here, Draw my line straight down, a bit wonky. Move to my second pivot. Let them swing, come to a rest. Draw my line straight down. You can see, for a symmetrical object, the centre of mass goes through the centre of symmetry. 